Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can customize the edge panel and also download more edge panels to add to the display. Okay, so if you look here on the right hand side, right beside the volume rocket and the power button, you'll see the little edge panel handle. It's transparent, so you might not be able to really see it on the camera, but it's right here. Okay, so if you just um, press on it and slide it inwards, slide it in to the center of the display, it'll bring out the panel. So here it is. These are all the default shortcut applications that have been added to the panel. Okay, so down here, if you select this little tab, it will bring up two applications, all apps and edit. So if you select all apps, it will bring up a list of all your installed applications and downloaded applications that you have on the device. And if you select the edit, option you can remove any one of these applications and replace them with your downloaded applications okay so i like to have my games on the edge panel so if you look beside these applications you'll see a little minus sign so just select the ones that you want to remove So like I mentioned, I like to have all my games on the Edge panel um, so that I can have quick access to my games. So just select the ones that you want to add and they, they'll automatically be added to the Edge panel. Or you can drag and drop the game that you want or the application. You can drag and drop it into there. Or like I says, you can just simply press on it and it will be added to the edge panel. Okay, I like to have Chrome on there as well and YouTube. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. That's my current setup for the edge panel. Okay, so if you select this little tab here, it will give you the option to open applications in split screen view. So touch and hold, drag the app to the part of the screen where you want to open it. There's also an option to just simply tap, to tap the application to view it in split screen and show recent apps. And then here you'll see a little settings icon. If you select it, these are all the default edge panels. So this is the default one that we have at the moment. And then there's live messages, people, smart select, tasks, weather, tools, reminder and clipboard. So if you want to add any one of these to the edge panel, just select the one you want to add. So I like the weather. I like to have the weather on there. And I also like to have the tools. And then there's an option as well to go to the Galaxy Store. And then here at the top, you'll see top, top paid, top free and new panels. Okay, so I like to browse the top free section because this is where you can download all the free edge panels. 
and there's loads to choose from and these are all free guys and then there's the top paid but remember you do have to pay for these ones um, they're quite cheap £1.48, £1.93, £1.58 most of these are less than £2 and then there's the new section so these are all the new ones that have just um, been added to the Galaxy Store and then there's the top ones so these are all the ones what everyone's purchasing and downloading this one seems really cool system monitor edge i think i'll download this one try it out gives you information about the cpu and gpu also the memory network speeds the ram and also the battery Okay, so once you're done, you can just come out of there. And now we should see the newly added panels. So the weather's there. Also the tools. Tools is very handy. It comes with a compass. And let's just collaborate that real quick. Okay, I just had to collaborate that, guys. So, yeah, so it comes with a compass, and if you select that little tab there, there's also a tally counter and a torch that you can use. And you can use the plus and the minus buttons here to adjust the brightness of the torch and there's also a service level and a ruler okay so I need to go back into the settings to add the panel that I just downloaded for free here it is the system monitor edge so this panel gives me a lot of information about what's going on with the phone inside the phone regarding the RAM and everything um, please click here to read. Okay, guys, seems like this edge panel was false advertising. Um, it's not free. So I'm just going to remove that. So let's just go back into there untick that box and now it should be gone okay yeah guys so that's how you download more edge panels so now I'm going to show you how to customize the edge panels so just pull down the notifications and go into settings and scroll down to display And here you will see edge panels, select it. And then it shows you the edge panels that you have at the moment. So apps, weather, and one more, which would be the tools. And then the little handle, this little handle here for the edge panel, you can change the position of it. So if you're left-handed, you can adjust it so that it shifts over to the left hand side of the display 
So just select left and as you can see now it's shifted over to the left hand side. But I'm right handed so I'm going to keep it over here on the right hand side. And then you can select a colour for the handle. So if you want it to be red. But that red looks a bit pinkish to me. You can adjust it to blue, change it to orange. There's just a few different colours there that you can choose from. And then there's a little colour mixer that you can um, use to choose a more precise colour that you want to use. And there's a little slider there to adjust it the transparency of the colour and there's also a slider here for transparency as well so if you want it to be low, medium or high give you all a better look wait a minute the flash is still on let me just turn it off So as you can see, you can adjust the transparency of it. Okay, that's a bit of red. Yeah, that's more like it. And you can also adjust the size. So if you want the handle to be small or large, as you can see, it's a lot larger now. And it's a lot smaller there. Or you can have it there in the middle. And also you can adjust the width. So if you want it to be thin or in between thick and thin, you would leave it there in the middle. Or if you want it to be thick, you just slide it all the way to the end there to have it thick. vibrate when handled is touched so if you want a vibration each time you touch the handle you would keep that on if you don't want it to vibrate you just turn it off it's as simple as that okay so there's no more settings for the edge panels that's it i've been through everything with you all guys so yeah, this was just my video showing you how to customize the edge panels and download more on the brand new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If this video helped you out guys, you already know what to do. Give it a thumbs up, share the video. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. It's your boy, the Android Doctor. And I'm out. See you in the next one, guys. Deuces. Oh, one last thing before I go, guys. Remember earlier in the video when I mentioned that you can launch two applications in split screen view directly from the edge panel? Well, I'm just going to demonstrate how it works. So just slide out the edge panel and then choose the two applications that you want to run in split screen mode. So, for example, YouTube, just drag it and drop it there. So as you can see, drop now to open in full screen view so just drop it there and then slide out the panel again and then do the same with the second application that you want to run in split screen mode so drop here to open and as you can see now i've got google open and i have youtube opened both at the same time in split screen mode so yeah, that's it for the video guys. It's your boy the Android Doctor. Like I said, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. Share the video as well. I'm out. Doses.